In this video, we'll create a pure CSS parallax scrolling effect using nothing but HTML and CSS. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So the image that we're looking at right now is at the top of our parallax scrolling effect. And as we scroll down, we'll see four different images with a title on the last image as well. So here we have the last image and then I'll go ahead and scroll back up to show you the parallax effect and we also have some shadow effects as we transition from image to image. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna move over to Sublime Text which is the text editor that I'm using here and I have index.html, uh, an index.html file here open in Sublime Text as well as having that file connected to Google Chrome. All right, so let's start with laying out our basic HTML page info here, or file info, and I'll just title this Pure CSS Parallax Scrolling. Okay, and now I'm gonna drop down and enter style. So we're just gonna do an internal style here rather than linking to an external style.css sheet to make it easy on ourselves because there isn't a whole lot here as far as the style and the HTML. So now let's drop down to our body section and lay out the HTML here. So I'm going to start us off with a div ID called intro and then we'll also give this a class called slide. All right, and then I'll drop down and let's go ahead and add this heading one text right here. So I'll write h1 and pure CSS parallax scrolling. Okay, and then I'll drop down and close out the div for the ID intro and class slide. And now I'll add another div ID and we're gonna call this slide one and then we'll give it the same class of slide and then close out the div and this is going to be pretty much the same for the next few divs, so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this a few times here. So I'll paste it twice, and then let's change the second one here to slide 2, and the third to slide 3, and then for the last one we'll have another heading 1, and I'm just going to write subscribe. Okay, so that's everything for our HTML, it's pretty simple. The rest will be done in the CSS. So let's move back up the page here, or file rather, in index.html and get started with our CSS. So you don't need to do this, but I'm going to import a Google font here called WorkSans just to give it a little more style here with the heading one text. So let's start us off with a reset style for the HTML document itself and I'm just going to write height 100% overflow hidden okay and now let's drop down to the body so I'm going to say margin 0 padding 0 to get rid of any inherent margin or padding for the body section and then we'll say perspective 1 pixel transform style preserve dash 3d height 100% overflow x or I'm sorry overflow y scroll and then overflow x hidden so scrolling on our y-axis, axis uh, hidden on our x-axis. Okay, and then let's drop down and let's just do a quick style here for our heading one. So I'll say font family, and then I'm gonna use that Google font work sans. You could just do sans serif if you want, which I'll use here as a fallback font. So font family sans serif, font size, say 
then text align center, color FFF or white, and then let's give it a text shadow of three pixels, three pixels, and then we'll do a gray shade here. All right, so there we go. We have our text shadow on the right and bottom of the heading one text there. So now let's drop down and let's style the slide class, which we see here in every div. So we'll just do dot slide because it's a class, and then position relative, padding 25%, top bottom, and then 10% left right. And then we'll go minimum height 100% for each image there. And then width 100%. And then box sizing border box. And then we'll give it its box shadow. So remember the shadows that we see on the bottom or top of the image. Zero, negative one pixel, 10 pixel, and then RGBA, go with zero, 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 point seven, and then transform style inherit. Okay, so now we have our text, or heading one text centered there, and we have some box shadow going, as well as the 100% minimum height for each one of our slide classes here. So now let's drop down, and we'll do the same class, but we'll add colon before. Okay, all right, so now let's write content and then quotations, and that will be for our images, and then position absolute, top zero bottom zero, left zero, and then right zero. And we'll also give this uh, a box shadow for before the slide class. So box shadow zero, zero, eight pixels, one pixel, and then RGBA will do the same as last, zero, zero zero and point seven which is like the light gray shade okay so now if we refresh and drop down we'll see that our shadows are a little more pronounced now underneath or before the slide class all right so now we'll go ahead and add uh, one more style to our slide class before we move on to the uh, div ID intro. So we'll go with dot slide comma dot slide colon before and then background 50% fifty percent forward slash cover it's for the images that we're gonna add next alright so let's drop to the uh, intro ID div ID intro and we'll add this first image here with the bubbles okay so it's a ID so we'll do the hashtag so hashtag intro and open and close your brackets and we'll give it the background image so URL parentheses quotation 
https www.macintuts.com slash wp content slash uploads dot or I'm sorry slash bubbles one dot jpeg and then drop down underneath that selector and now we have our first image here but to make the bottom of it more pronounced and sharp we'll go with Z index 2 so it appears on top of the um, before box shadow for the next uh, slide class. Alright, so now let's drop down and we'll do slide 1. So hashtag slide 1. And since it's going to be basically the same background image, I'm going to go ahead and copy the link above, or URL, and then paste it in here. And I'll just change bubbles1 to bubbles2. And then drop down, and here we have bubbles2. So now we're going to add the special style to give it that parallax effect here. So right now it's flat and scrolling simply, simply scrolling. So it's transform translate Z. So this is the Z axis out of the three axes, which is the top one negative one pixel and then scale in parentheses two. Okay, so now let's go back and we will refresh it. Okay, so now we have the scrolling effect going. So if you want to learn more about the translate Z and scale, do a Google search on perspective CSS to understand it uh, much better. Okay, so now let's drop down and go to the slide 2. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the background image once again and just change this to bubbles 3. And then I'll drop down and once again add Z index 2 so that it has uh, some sharpness. Um, displaying on top of the last slide image and we have the sharpness when it comes to the image uh, on top of the before box shadow slide before box shadow all right and then for slide three it's going to be the same as slide one so I'll just change that to slide three and then bubbles four for the image okay so now we have our complete uh, pure CSS parallax scrolling effect made with just HTML and CSS. All right, so that concludes the tutorial. I want to thank you for sticking around. Please remember to like this video and subscribe. Then I'll see you in the next tutorial.